Hey, how's your week going? This is Jay Chaya. Going good, I hope. Today you are you. That is truer than true. There is no one alive who is youer than you. Dr. Seuss. We like theories from experts, and I'm quoting Dr. Seuss. Well, he graduated from Dartmouth and attended Oxford. Does that help? I have a master's in metaphysics. Does that help? No? You say my master's in metaphysics? And a dollar seventy-five can get me a Mountain Dew in any convenience store in America. So just let me throw it out there for your consideration. There never has been, and never will be, anyone exactly like you. Even identical twins, who are the same DNA-wise, have had different experiences that shape their worldview. For example, I was engaged to an identical twin who was a weightlifter, and was surprised when I met his brother, who was rather a marshmallow. Lifestyle choices, I guess. You have strengths, and you have weaknesses. There is something only you can do, which nobody who has ever lived will be able to do. Something to make the world a little better. Something to grow your soul. That is success. Anything else is failure. You don't have to be great in the eyes of the world system. The world system is a hollow, hypocritical system, as I'm sure you have suspected. Treat others as you want to be treated and your soul will grow. As for the brief time you're here on earth, enjoy it. It's beautiful. Play more, love more, laugh more. When we say you, we naturally, as 3D earthbound critters, refer to our body. I say we are not just our body. Marvelous as it is for navigating around earth. But you are a soul man. An at man, as they say in India. An eternal essence beyond time and space. You never die. According to the first law of thermodynamics, energy can neither be created nor destroyed. Energy can only be transferred or changed from one form to another. What is our soul? What is it made of? This question betrays our earthbound worldview. I think it's something like energy, which they say can neither be created nor destroyed. It just is. I also think the order in the universe has something to do with fractal patterns, but I will never be good enough at math or live long enough to figure that one out. Science is reaching way beyond its pay scale, trying to figure this out. Stick to what you can measure, science, or risk becoming an organized religion and wrecking what you are really so great at doing. So we are eternal energy and connected to everything. We're not God. Don't shoot that high. God is the source. You are not just your body. Don't shoot that low. Neither God nor clay. Nevertheless, you are pretty darn amazing.